Hey guys and welcome to part 18 of the Wally tutorial series and we're going to be finishing off the model now um, with the tracks that are needed so if you've been following along with this tutorial series you should have a Wally model now that looks something like this so we've done all of the details now for the um, the mobility system all of the cogs and everything which um, will carry the tracks so it's just a matter now of making the tracks um, shaping them to the correct shape and then basically we are done with the modeling stage um, so if you've been following along your model should look something like this by now if not you can always skip back to the previous tutorials and uh, you can also download as well the project file um, from the link below the video so let's take a look at our reference image we're going to be making these tracks and as you can see, there's a lot of them going around here, but we're only actually going to need to make one of them. And then we're going to use copy and paste and rotations to um, shape these correctly. So um, let's just take a look at what it is we need to make. It's going to be basically a rectangular shape with these two holes in. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, then we're going to bring out these um, little tracks, um, grips and treads on the, on the tracks there. So let's start off um, over in Blender in object mode. We're going to need to create a cube. So like with most of the tutorial series, <coughs> um, we are starting off with a cube or a basic primitive shape, which is then going to be adjusted to our requirements. So we're going to scale first of all on the z-axis because we need this to be quite slim and we'll scale it on the y-axis let's get it to approximately the right type of shape that we need so it's something like that maybe scale a little bit more on the y-axis scale slightly more on the z okay now I'm going to go to my um, front view and we're going to maneuver this approximately into position. Now we need to make sure that we got the width correct. So um, let's go back over to our reference image. You can see it's slightly wider, not much though than the actual cogs that we made. So that's basically the size that we're going to be using as our guide. So we need to scale on the x-axis to make this a little narrower. So about this width is probably correct. Let's go to our left view. And we're going to start at the top here. Go back to our view here. So the top one is actually at an angle. So rather than starting at the top, I'll actually start with on the flat ones at the bottom. So we'll adjust this position again will come down here probably start over this area here okay so now we need to make the holes and we need to put the treads on there so that's pretty straightforward to do um, we'll go over into edit mode tools uh, we're going to get loop cuts Now the holes need to be approximately lined up where these cogs are because those holes are actually where the teeth are going to sit in. So about here, we'll make another loop cut, which will go around here. It's about right. And then we'll do the same then on the opposite side. Actually, as this is a mirror, um, you can see the cogs, uh, the the, um, the tracks are actually a mirror. Both sides are, are equal. So what we'll do now is create another loop cut. Actually, let's undo those previous loop cuts. We'll start with one in the center, actually. And then what we'll do is remove these faces.
Okay, and then we'll come back over into object mode, and I'm going to add a mirror modifier to this. Okay, and then back into edit mode. All right, now whatever we do on this one, one side will be mirrored onto the other side. So let's make sure that we got this evenly spaced. Let's go to a front view. It's about right. Okay. Now we'll get uh, the loop cuts again. We'll put these in. Position them so they're either side of the cogs. Something like so. And the same with this one here. I just want to adjust it a little bit. So we'll select edge loops. And we'll drag this in a tiny bit. Okay, um, check back with our reference image. So we also need to then make a loop cut going in the other way. So we'll have one here. And another one here. Make sure our tracks are uh, not too wide. Just going to check back here. Might be a little bit wide, so I'm going to go back over into edit mode. We'll scale on the y axis, make them a little narrower. And scale also a little bit on the z, make them thinner. Okay, back into edit mode. Um, I want to remove this face. Actually, I'm going to grab these ends here, make these a little bit shorter. Okay. Now we'll grab this face and we'll remove it. And the same for the face above. So now we've got a hole going through there. Now we want to join up those edges, so we'll go into vertex select mode, and we're going to want to grab those vertices, and we'll go to oops, make edges and face, and we'll grab these vertices, and again. And we'll grab these. Get this one from the top, I think. Which one are we trying to fill in here? It's a little tricky to see. Um, this one. I think, yes, make edges and faces, and the final one here, we'll get these two, and those, and I think, I think we've done them all already, yeah, I think we're done, okay, so now we've done that, let's just jump back over into object mode, we'll see how that looks. So it should be about the right size for these teeth of these cogs to fit through. If it's a little bit big, we can come into edit mode. We can grab that face. We can bring it in a little bit. Uh, we haven't we haven't finished making our face there. Sorry, I thought there was one that we were missing. So it's. We need to select these vertices and make edge and face. Then with that face selected, we can drag it in a bit. Same on the opposite side. 
just to make that a little bit slimmer. Okay, so now we've done that, well, let's make these um, tracks, so, or oh, the, the treads that are on there. So to do this, again, we're going to want our knife tool. And we're going to cut from here. to here, to here, like so. Oops, let's create that again. So we cut like that. And then we're gonna to wanna to make a parallel cut something like this. And we can grab these faces and it can then be extruded out like so. And we'll go over into object mode and we have our treads on the bottom of our tracks. I'm going to select the edges of these and we're just going to um, bevel them a little bit. Control B to bevel. Just a tiny amount like that. Okay, let's check back with our reference image. Now there's these little tabs that stick out, which are going to be uh, what kind of joins up each one of these treads. So we need to make that. That's only gonna come out of one side. It's just gonna come out the back side. So to make that, we're just gonna grab this face, extrude, and enter. And then we'll scale. Just a little bit. Let me extrude out. Now this is what is going to be joining up each one of our tracks. Now here we can move that up so that the cogs are biting in. And there is our first tread done. So now it's just going to be a matter of copying and pasting these and rotating them and moving them into the right place. So let's go to the left side. Command C and Command V and then drag it out until that's just touching there. And the same again. And we're just going to repeat this all the way along the bottom. And we're just going to do this on one side for now. And then we're going to join these objects together and mirror it to the other side later. So now we should have everything along the bottom side there and then it's going to start rotating so again we'll go over to our left view so we're going to start curling up and following this shape and then coming up to that bar there so this one already can actually rotate on the x-axis just a little bit then we adjust its position command C command V bring the next one out 
rotate on the x-axis a little bit more and again we're going to drag it into its position Just rotate some more So it's just a matter of um, adjusting the rotation until you get it fitting just how you want it. So actually this also can rotate a little more so that it can sit higher up, closer to the tracks. And the same here. Command C, Command V, we'll make the next one. Again, we rotate it more. So I'm just going to um, Pause the video for a moment while I finish off doing this. You've got the idea what it is we're going to be doing. It's just a matter of copying and pasting and rotating until you get them in the position that they need to be in. So I'll just pause the video for a moment while I finish this off and I'll see you in a few minutes. Did those tracks all the way around. Um, I had to do a little bit of adjustment of, of this part here just rotating and moving them just so everything lined up but there is um, our tracks now going all the way around the wheels as you can see though it's not been replicated on the other side yet so the next thing that we need to do is actually select all of these tracks that we just copy and pasted uh, so we'll go around and we'll select them all And now I'm going to join them together. And then we're going to apply that mirror modifier, add a new mirror modifier. And this time we're going to select our mirror object as the body. And you'll see now they are copied onto the other side. So now we have our tracks and uh, our Wally -E modeling is actually complete. We have the body, the head, the arms, and the mobility system there at the bottom and the tracks. So the next stage um, is going to be to begin texturing and rigging for animation. Um, so I'm going to do that in a separate tutorial series, but uh, I hope that you found this enjoyable and uh, you enjoyed following along and learning how to model Wally, -E, and I hope it's also given you a good introduction to the tools that we have available in Blender. It's a very powerful program. There's a lot more to it than what we've covered in this tutorial series, but you'll find other tutorials here on my YouTube channel, which will give you a more in-depth view as to the different features and modeling here in Blender. So feel free to download the project file from the link below the video. And uh, if you have any suggestions or requests on what we can model next, please also put those in the comments at the bottom and I'll do my best to um, fulfill those tutorials that people are requesting. So if you found this useful, please subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.